This is the ultimate guide to if you should buy a pre-built PC or build it yourself. I'll be going through important factors such as component costs, time, effort, warranty, and what you actually get from both sides. I'll be giving a budget of $1,000 wow. to brands like Mansa PC, Aftershock, Invader, Dreamcore, Dynacore, even Lazada, Shopee, and Amazon.sg. Then I'll be going down to Simlin Square to find the best PC I can get for $1,000. Before that, I want to thank our sponsor for today, me, yes. Me. I did use my own $1,000 for this video. Other than making a sponsor segment a habit, I am selling the PC after I'm done with the $1,000 PC that I'm going to build at no extra cost. And also, I started out membership so you can support the channel. You get custom emotes. I might do live stream for, for members. That's what they call it in YouTube members. And I'll prioritize any of your questions or comments. Uh, but if you can't, don't worry. All you have to do is subscribe, like, comment. Sponsor segment over. I thought this research would be simple and easy, like just you know, find thousand dollar PC. But actually, there's a lot of variables. And do note what I'm gonna share with you. The goal is not to compare the companies together because I think it's unfair to compare them with just one price range. But this is to give you and me a bit of perspective before I go to Sydney Square. So let's get into it quickly. We start with Mansa PC. They are ready to ship PC are quite overpriced, starting at one thousand two hundred fifty for the 5600X and the 1660 Super. And the only way to get a PC below $1,000 is to search for their custom gaming PC hidden at the bottom of their website. Their GPU options are quite limited, not having the 6600. And the best component I can come up with below $1,000 is, let me see, the 5500 with 1660 Ti. Yeah, the rest of the components and the warranty are there as well, I'll, I'll show you. Next, Aftershock. For them, they are ready to ship PCs are uh, more value compared to customizing it yourself. And there's two options they have. The first option is the 5500 CPU, RTX 3050 and 500 gigabytes of SSD for 1050. The better option in my opinion is the 5600 with the RX 6600 and it has one terabyte of SSD for a cheaper price of $975. And I'm going for the 6600 over the 3050 because the 6600 is just downright performs better. Plus you get a better CPU, more storage and it's cheaper. For Dreamcore, their Dream builds are the best value. Uh, they have two options as well. One is the 3600 with 6500 XT or Intel's 12100 with 6500 XT. I'm not sure why they are still using the 3600 instead of the 5500 or even the 5600 because they do have the 5600 for the RTX 3060 build. But that's their option so I'm going with the 12100F with 6500 XT. But honestly, Dreamcore is quite weak in the $1000 range. Only upside I can see is the PSU. They have a 750 watt power supply that is 80 plus gold. So that's actually pretty good, but I'm not sure why you need a 750 watt power supply for the 6500 XT. When AMD's official website recommends 400 watts power supply, I think the max you need is like 550 watts. Pretty overkill if you ask me. So I went a bit cheaper and get a better GPU or CPU, I don't know. Not my company. Uh, next is a new PC company. Invader. They only established last year. They have two options as well, the 5600G or the 5600X with the 6600XT. No, no XT. No XT. No XT. Also with one terabyte storage. I'm going for the 5600X built for $1,030 because the 5600G does bottleneck gaming performance, especially if you plan to upgrade your GPU in the future. For the 6600, not so much, but still have for GPUs like 3080, 4080s, it's gonna bottleneck a lot. Uh, one good thing is they have the 5600X. If you compare this to Aftershock, it's very competitive. Obviously, uh, you have X version, but theirs is like $40, $50 more expensive. So can fight, like, can fight. Some downsides that Invader have is that they don't have on-site warranty, which the other three companies have. On-site warranty means if your PC is faulty, they will come down to your place and fix the problem and it's not fixable there. They will bring back the PC to their service center, fix it, and then deliver it back. Very convenient. And Invader doesn't have that. Also, because they are a new company, they haven't um, go through PC problems that are three, four years old, you know? 
that's where a lot of PCs start to break down. Next is Dynacor, which is the same name store that does pre-builds, which I'm not going to even elaborate because they don't even have all the information on their site, like warranty. They only have it for their office PC, on-site warranty, yeah, but gaming, like, I don't know. And I did email them and they didn't reply. And their PC components are one of the worst in terms of the pre-built sections. So I don't think that they're uh, even an option. La, lastly, it's online stores like Shopee, Lazada, Amazon. Honestly, not a good option. The price, very similar. You get similar builds and you still have to build it yourself and do your own warranty. So I feel like online stores are better for individual PC components, especially for like storage and GPUs when they are on sale. And okay, now you have the table for the online segment. You all can compare yourself. I would say the two best is Aftershock and Invader, but both has its pros and cons also. And now let's go to Simin Square where we can buy a thousand dollar PC and see how it goes. Let's go. Okay, finally back in Simmin Square after a long time and nothing basically changed. I have withdrawn my $1,000 to build the PC. Aha, uh -huh, real money, real money. Look at that. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I have to spend it. my own money. I'm going to sell this PC. Let's see what components can we buy. Come. Back to trade pack. Hello. Good, good. Y'all know how I shop at Simlim Square. Basically, I tell them what components I want and see what price they give me. These are the components I requested. The situation here is they don't have the 6600, but they do have the 6650 XT. But with that, the price was 1,127. Not a bad price, but... Okay, so the situation is they don't have the 6600. They only have the 6650 XT. But even for the 6650 XT, for 1,127, it's not a bad price. We only got $1,000. We want to be fair. So let's see what we get. The final price is going to be above $1,000, but it's $1,020. So I'm going to give away a bit because we're going to get 6650 XT. Not a bad deal. Also, we have a B550 instead of an A520. So that's good. RAM also RGB. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now it's just to go back to the office, build this PC and uh, test test the PC. Yeah, let's go. Okay, back in the office. Yeah, looking through is a really good deal compared to online prices. We're gonna compare every prices, right? So we have the 5600 uh, B550, 16 gigs of RAM. We have the Lexa 1TB NVMe. For the case is the Techware Flatline, uh, affordable case. FSP 650 watt, 80 plus bronze. And last but not least, the GPU, which is the RX 6650 XT is Asus Dual. Very affordable to make this whole set $1,020. Oh, one more thing. Free mouse pad. I really want to tell you guys the pros and cons with buying online and buying at Simin Square. I will be using like my old tools, no drills or anything to help me build, and I will give you all a proper conclusion on which is better, online or Simin Square. All right, so let's start out. There's not gonna be a lot of talking here. Just we're gonna build, build, build. I'm gonna do it real fast. Okay, now to the results. If all you care about is performance, then definitely DIY is the way to go. The 6650 XT compared to the 6600, there's a 10 to 20% improvement uh, depending on games. And that's with like the best company. If you have to compare it with the 6500, ugh, or the 3050, ugh, or the 1650, yeah, we, you can see the difference. In terms of convenience, it's an easy win for the pre builds You don't have to worry about compatibility issues. Even for an experienced builder like me, it took about four hours to build this PC. I have to research, go down to Simlim Square, come back from Simlim Square and build the PC. For first time builders without help, other than online help, it will take about maximum two days or at least one full day which I believe not a lot of people, adult working adults have because time is also money. But for tech savvy people, this can be enjoyable. I mean, look at me. I built a whole channel based on building PCs. For warranty, there is kind of convenience as well. Hands down, you go for the companies with on-site warranty. Just hassle-free compared to doing it yourself. My experience with handling individual PC components warranty was not the best. Because first, you need to troubleshoot your own PC, which if you don't have extra components, is quite hard. 
And even if you find out what component is the issue, uh, you have to go down to the service center. And sometimes they don't do a one-for-one -one exchange. Sometimes they will actually send it for repair and that might take one to two weeks. And without a critical component like a GPU, your PC is basically useless. In conclusion, it ultimately depends on personal preference and priorities whether to build yourself or buy pre-built. If you're like me, tech savvy, the easiest option hands down in my whole entire life is to build it yourself. Especially at this price range where value to performance is very important. And I did an Instagram poll and yeah, it's confirmed you guys are same. Same thing. But different. But as I grew older, I do see a better value in companies like Mansa, Aftershock and Dreamcore for the service they provide. I can actually see people paying an extra $200 on whatever price range so that they don't have to deal with building, servicing and warranty. I think at this price range of $1,000, the value of pre-built is not that high. But in terms of the higher end PCs, the $4,000, $5,000 PCs, the extra cost is quite minimal. What's another $100, $200 for a $5,000 PC? Other than that, I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you want me to go in depth in pre-built companies like we haven't really touched on customer service how well they build their pcs and the different price point or we should make this video again but at a different price point thousand five hundred two thousand dollars two thousand five hundred let me know comment if you have any questions about this video itself as well comment in the section below as i said this video is sponsored by me you want to put your brand in this segment email me buy this pc you want I will redo the cable management. Now it's not the best, but I will redo the cable management. It'll be the perfect cable management. You want me to sign? Also, no problem. A link is in the description. Be a member. $5. Sing. So, yeah. But if you cannot, never mind. Subscribe. We do giveaways as well. Thank you. I'm done. I'll see you next week. <laughs>